On the eve of Holocaust Remembrance Day, the government and the Jewish Agency have announced the establishment of Project Heart, the Global Holocaust Era Assets Restitution Task Force. Heading that effort is Project Heart Executive Director Bobby Brown, who this morning briefed the cabinet on the organization and its activities and joins us now in the studio. Good evening, Mr. Brown. Good evening to you. Tell me, it's been now 66 years since the end of World War II. Why the launching of a new organization at this time? Most Holocaust survivors came from Eastern Europe, and almost no Eastern European family, either survivor or heir, has received even a token payment for the property that was taken from them. That's absolutely shocking. What kind of property are we talking about? We're talking about, first of all, non-movable property, real estate. We're talking about movable property, art, uh, furniture, tools, um, paintings. We're talking about non-intellectual property and non and and property like um, insurance, stock, savings accounts, patents, all of which have not been restituted at all. Since the founding of your organization in February, how many requests for information have you received? Our website, which started on the 23rd of February, um, till after Pesach, and Pesach was a slow time, has had 750,000 hits. Uh, we've had 35,000 uh, downloads of, of forms to fill out. We've had uh, about 40,000 phone calls on our 24-hour-a-day phone center, which is in 13 languages. And I understand you're also going to be releasing soon a database that lists 650,000 items of stolen or missing Jewish property. This must have been a monumental task to document, first of all. And secondly, what can be done to restore this property to the rightful heirs or survivors of the Holocaust? We are doing a, a Holocaust survivor heir-friendly system, which means once we put it up, which is going on today and tomorrow, uh, anyone who believes that their family lost property, let's say your family lost property in Krakow, they could put in the name of your grandfather, the city of Krakow, and if we found anything, that would come up. So you may know that your family lost their house, but not know the address. And we may have found the address to help you. It sounds like you very much alleviated the bureaucracy that's often attached to people who are trying to find missing property that belonged to their ancestors. We're trying to do it as a group, great, uh, to be able to do, to go not only different nonprofit organizations, but the government of Israel also going and saying, we represent these 100,000 people from your country who have never been reimbursed. Here is documented claims we have. We're, bringing, we're trying very much not to have bureaucracy because our Holocaust survivors can't take any more bureaucracy. They deserve a modicum of justice now. In fact, you've spent much of your career trying to help victims of the Holocaust. Do you feel that your efforts have at least brought some sort of a semblance or you've approached a level of justice for victims? Well, I think we've made progress. It's a far from perfect system. One and a half billion dollars went in the Swiss agreement. Um, the Germans gave five billion uh, euros towards Holocaust survivors and slave labor and slave laborers, um, insurance about a half billion dollars. These are not complete justice, but they're the first steps towards justice in each of the cases. Well, you're to be commended. Bobby Brown, Executive Director of Project Heart, thanks so much for being our guest on this evening. Thank you very much.